hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel now in this video i have a great operating system and this operating system is specially designed for the penetration testing and also a new look and feel you will get so in this video we'll talk about the athena os so athena os is basically an arch based distribution okay for the penetration testing and forensic experts so you know already about the parrot os and kali linux but athena os is really special uh, because of its look and other things so before starting the video you just do one thing hit the like button subscribe my channel and now you can also send me super thanks to support me okay so let's start Alright, so first of all, I'm just showing you guys from where you can download Athena OS. So this is the main page you can see. This is the GitHub page. Okay, the link I will put in in the description. Okay, so, and many information you can see here basically in this page. Okay, all the screenshot and all the introduction and system requirements, all things uh, you can read from here. And uh, basically this is the main page but uh, uh, to download the Athena OS ISO I will recommend uh, torrent and the main uh, page of the torrent uh, is in the FOSS torrents okay you can see uh, there is a collaboration with the FOSS torrent so I am just going to the FOSS torrent website and you can see uh, this is the page okay so when you go to the FOSS torrents basically I will uh, put the link in the description and then Athena OS uh, you will get here and here also some informations are there some screenshots are there and you can see that and at last you are getting this now the latest version of Athena OS is called Parthen OS okay so and uh, you can download the torrent file from here or you can directly click the magnet link and you can open uh, uh, with the torrent client okay so I'm just uh, clicking with the magnet link so and you can see I'm just opening the link okay and uh, transmission I have installed here so basically uh, when you open up the torrent so it will be uh, downloaded okay the file size is actually uh, 2.69 uh, GB. Now after downloading the ISO uh, file, basically if you want to install in the real hardware, so you have to make a bootable uh, pen drive or USB drive. Uh, uh, you can use uh, Belena Eacher or you can use the Rafas or uh, Ventoy okay, to create a bootable USB uh, to use uh, in your real hardware. And if you want to install in the virtual box, so here's the setup I'm just showing you guys. So you can see uh, this. So name is Athena OS and it is Arch 64 bit. And uh, in the system, I have given 3 GB of RAM. Now the minimum system specification to install the Athena OS is actually you need minimum 30 GB of space and SSD is recommended. And uh, you need minimum 4 GB of uh, RAM and a uh, two core processor. Okay, so since I'm in the virtual box and my uh, RAM is limited, so I have given 3 GB. All right, and I have enabled the EFI mode. Uh, this is uh, for the modern computers. And uh, here, uh, this is the case you can see uh, the processor. I have given 3 core here. And in the display, uh, video memory, uh, I have uh, I'm giving this. And now, this is the uh, enable 3D acceleration now you must disable this this is highly recommend to disable the 3d acceleration because there is a bug in the athena os so don't enable this and in the storage i have uh, created a 30 gb uh, uh, hard disk here virtual hard disk all right so all set up now i can uh, start here this is the uh, grub screen grub uh, 2.06 version after booting, you will get uh, this uh, welcome screen. This is the Athena welcome screen. Uh, but for now, uh, first I have to set up my resolution first. And for that, I'm going to display settings. Here is the resolution and I have a full HD laptop. So this is the resolution. Keep changes. So this is the Athena OS you can see. Now uh, I'm showing you guys that how you can install the Athena OS. But before uh, installing you must uh, uh, connect to a charger that means uh, to a power source. And uh, also you must connect the internet. Okay. And so internet connection uh, must be available uh, in your system. Okay. So to install the system you just uh, click here install Athena. And this is basically uh, a a calamarous installer but it is highly customized highly modified and the installer is awesome 
so welcome to the Athena installer click next the American English now the shell uh, you can choose uh, whatever you want I am choosing bash and now drivers so basically if you have uh, Intel uh, Intel processor so you just click here if you have uh, Nvidia you can click here and you have uh, if you have AMD GPU or uh, AMD uh, processor so you just click here I have AMD processor so I'm clicking here also and also you can uh, click many checkboxes click next and now if you have a dedicated GPU in your computer so uh, you can install uh, this Nvidia DKMS or uh, Nvidia okay I'm just skipping it for now and now you can see this is the GP <laughs> GPU so this is for the Intel GPU this is for the uh, Nvidia and this is the AMD GPU so I am just uh, choosing this and now uh, this is the for the VMware this is for the virtual box I am using virtual box so I am clicking here next now in the utilities you can see that uh, whatever uh, note taking app uh, you can you can uh, install here basically so and screenshot apps I'm just clicking here flame shot you can install the software later also no problem with that and in the browser section uh, two options uh, you are uh, getting brave browser and Firefox ESR both browsers are great so I'm going with the Firefox ESR now the login manager so since it is a gnome based uh, operating system so gnome display manager I'm using and now theme now the theming concept is really great for the Athena OS and you can see these are the themes so amazing themes so I'm, I'm choosing this now choose the location I'm in India so I've chosen my location this is the default uh, keyboard layout US English okay now uh, if you already have some OS so you can get uh, all these options alright so bust, but I, I'm just uh, showing you guys that uh, how you can uh, create the uh, partitions so I'm going to, to the manual partitioning so that you will get a clear understanding of the partitions so I'm just going to delete all these partitions now I have deleted all the partitions so uh, you can see this is the uh, free space because I have created a partition uh, table or you can create a new partition table and the format will be GPT for the UEFI firmware and if, are, uh, if you are using the legacy BIOS so you can create MBI. So I will go with the GPT and now I have to create some partitions. So the first partition I am creating and I am giving 25 GB at least so 26 GB I have given and the file system will be you can you can uh, configure it as the BTRFS this is the mo modern system but uh, in the traditional okay so ext4 is the traditional way to install the Linux system so I go with that and mount point will be root and file system level you can uh, you can just give any name so root I am giving click OK now since uh, if you are uh, using the UEFI firmware so you need to create a ESP partition the size will be 500 MB So almost 500 MB and the file system will be FAT32 and mount point will be boot EFI and you can choose a level so ESP I'm just giving and the flags you just check on the boot flag click OK and the third partition you can create the Linux swap so Linux web 
okay so these three partition you need uh, to install in the uefi firmware now if all these are okay so just click next and now i have to create my username so i'm just creating my username dev and password one two three now uh, use the password for the administrator account you can use that or you can uncheck and you can create a separate password for the administrative task then click next and this is the uh, summary of, uh, of what uh, what is going on and if all these things are uh, correct then you can start the installation and you can see this is the now inst installation has started now uh, all things uh, will be installed in your hard drive or in the virtual box so you have to wait for some time if you have a good processor then it will take uh, almost uh, five minutes after the installation has been completed you need to reboot the system and after reboot uh, you will get uh, this so athena os is a, a great operating system for the penetration testers uh, uh, since it has the black edge support so black edge is the huge and the largest uh, collection of the hacking softwares so if this video is helpful uh, to you then uh, hit the like button definitely and also subscribe my channel hit the notification bell icon and now also you can send me super thanks or you can join my channel and you can support me and uh, basically uh, now if uh, you need a detailed video uh, of the athena os so you can write it in the comments and see you in the next video very soon till then take care and goodbye